हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन मोर वीडियो ऑफ रॉबिन्स डेफिनेशन यू हैव सीन अवर लास्ट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज यू हैव सीन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज बट दिस वीडियो इज वेरी यूनिक इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू फिफ्टीन मार्क्स लेट अस सी दिस वीडियो इन डिटेल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रोफेसर रॉबिन्स इकोनॉमिक इज अ साइंस विच स्टडीज ह्यूमन बिहेवियर एज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन अनलिमिटेड वॉन्ट्स एंड स्केर्स मीन्स प्लीज रिमेंबर अनलिमिटेड वॉन्ट्स एंड स्केर्स मीन्स विच हैव alternate uses let us see it in detail first unlimited wants wants ki are unlimited it just keeps on increasing and increasing and the characteristics of wants are as follows one want is satisfied then another arise if you have bike you need car and so on all wants can never be satisfied be, be, because we human being by the very nature are such that all wants cannot be satisfied want keeps on multiplying with civilization with technology which our lifestyle wants keeps on multiplying it changes from time to time place to place as well as from person to person there is one more video of want you can also check this out next all wants are not equally important and urgent some are urgent and some are not therefore we have to make a choice as to which want is urgent and which want has to be satisfied because of the want the economy prospers because somebody wants somebody will sell and the country will develop second point scarce means 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 what the resources are the sources from which we earn money or satisfy our want what are the resources how do we satisfy our want they can be classified as money which we can use time skill labor all of these are limited due from which we earn our money therefore question arises as to how to utilize it in the best possible manner so get we can get maximum satisfaction third important point is all these wants have alternate use the resources can be used alternatively how let us see let us take an example that money now how can the money be used money can be spent either on clothes or shoes money can be donated either to orphan or handicap money can be invested in so in shares or gold money can be saved in bank fixed deposit therefore a person has to choose what is beneficial for him let us take one more example let's say for example land now land can be used for agriculture purpose can be used for industry purpose can be used for house building a house or for garden we have to decide which is advisable for us therefore there is a problem of choice we have to select we have to choice we have to select that thing which will be best suitable for us because resources are alternate therefore we are we will use in the best possible manner to get maximum satisfaction limitations of robin's definition is another extension of this question which is also asked separately as a short note robin's definition is neutral as regard and it does not say it is good or bad therefore it it ignores normative and ethical aspect it explains which want to satisfy but does not say which want is good or bad you want to drink liquor or smoke it is neutral regarding ends second from here on all the topic of macro economics should be remembered limitation of robin's definition it has ignored or reduced economic to valuation theory like level of national income and level of employment are ignored moreover economic growth and development are also very important which are ignored by robins problem of unemployment is also ignored by robins his definition ignores social character of economic and problem of exchange man has been ignored which was taken by marshall his definition can be said too wide or too narrow 
थैंक यू फॉर मोर वीडियो रिव्यू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल प्रणव क्लासेस फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सी मैनी टाइम्स दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव्स सो दे कैन गेट गुड मार्क्स प्लीज़ फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट्स ऑन दिस नंबर थैंक यू